Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and you may be wondering, could this be lurking in your salad? So today we're talking about parasites and specifically protozoa. Now, one of the most common types of protozoa is called giardia, and it's a common cause for diarrhea, and you don't necessarily need to travel to a remote place to pick this up. It's very prevalent in North America, in Canada, and the US. Now, you may have heard about some of these types of protozoa in the news. Commonly, this survives chlorinated drinking water, so it's been reported in daycare centers and schools and kids getting this, you know, chronic diarrhea issue as it's related to the protozoa. It's also very common in pre-washed lettuce. Now, another type of protozoa is known as cyclospora, and this is commonly found in not only pre-washed salads and lettuce, but also in basil or basil and cilantro raspberries and blackberries can have the cyclospora snow peas and snap peas as well so don't worry I'm going to give you some tips on how to deal with these things in just a moment but some of the common signs and symptoms besides the diarrhea you could also have some abdominal pains and an overall lack of energy if you do have these protozoa so this is one of the reasons why I'm so up on you know educating people about doing regular parasitic types of cleanses with natural herbal medicines as a preventative because you never know when you may have picked up one of these things if you've got chronic digestive issues it's really important to deal with these and to be preventative about them as well okay so the tips how do we deal with this well number one is make sure that you are using filtered water or drinking a high quality water to lower your chances of in ingesting these protozoa. So that's one of the reasons that I love reverse osmosis water because if these protozoa are in there, they can't get through that filtration process with the reverse osmosis. Also making sure that your digestive tract, your microbiome is in that proper diversity. So that's why eating probiotic containing foods is really important. I've got other videos on how to help and heal your gut and leaky gut syndrome and your microbiome. So make sure you check that out with some recipes for making your own sauerkraut at home as well. So make sure you look for that as well as stopping sugar. So we know that sugar is for various reasons, whether it's because of the glyphosate use on sugar, whether it's because it's highly refined, it doesn't have many nutrients. It, this is definitely a culprit and feeds some of these intestinal parasites. So whenever you can limit your sugar in your diet, it's definitely a good thing to do. And another thing to consider are some specific herbal medicines that are great at targeting these intestinal parasites and the protozoa. So some of my favorites include oregano. I also love black walnut, which is great, and cloves as well. So cloves will kill not only the active and adult worms and protozoa, but also the eggs as well. So that's why it's important to do this, again, preventatively at least a few times a year. And in some of my live videos, I go through protocols on how to use these herbal medicines in protocols to be able to help yourself. So make sure you check those out as well. So today we talked all about protozoa and what is lurking in your salad. So hopefully you've not experienced this. If you have, I would love to hear from you. So please do put it in the comment section below, or if you have questions as well, be sure to share this video. I know you know somebody who needs to know this information. Be sure to give me a thumbs up as well. I truly appreciate all your great feedback. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe. Also click that bell to turn on your notifications so you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching.